Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel, Spring Hill, Florida, and at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the front gallery room. These are the four paintings that I am putting into the drawing that will be available for whoever whoever contributes, whose name is drawn in the third week of what's coming up. <laughs> June! I'm a little discombobulated today, so I'm going to do the best I can to move as fast as I possibly can to get through some paintings. If there's a dragon, I may go back and do some second, a little bit more work on. I'm going to try and get my paintings into frame this time. And I don't know if you've seen some of these or not, but if you have, oh well. If you have an interest in making a purchase, please make a note of the time. So these can go all kinds of ways. And I kind of figure, I hope you can zoom in because I can't reach the camera right now. But I've got wonderful color shifts and I just made a video where the lighting was too harsh. And in the beginning I sort of uh, <laughs> didn't have my pictures in frame. So that may need a moon. This is, a lot of these are videos that are coming up. I'm really hoping you can see the color shifts. And I'm really hoping that my camera's exposure works well with the daylight. Because that way you'll see a more natural light. I think these might, that might be from another time. But it's gorgeous and it also might be new. So I got dry paint everywhere. <laughs> I mean everywhere. This could be from last month. This was a gorgeous piece though. I love this piece. Somebody said it reminded them of Phoenix Rising. After I post the videos and then I have the artworks, um, people have made comments. So I get kind of like, I don't know if you've seen the painting in a dry form or if you're making a comment from having seen the video. Unless you haven't seen the video. I love this waterfall. This is just floats my boat. I love this waterfall too. Actually, it's stream. But um, I know if I don't move quickly, we won't get through much of anything. Or we won't get all the way through anything. I'm a little brain dead today. I'm sorry about that. And there might be a few things from last month mixed in here. And I am hoping that you can see almost everything. Remember to make a note of the time if you have an interest in making a purchase. That's a gorgeous swipe. That's new. I know that's new. There's a little scape. Color shifting paints in there. That's a scape that I, I decided this was the sky. That's coming up. This is a, this was a, a ghost swipe. That wasn't a keyhole swipe. This was, this is, I don't know. I can't call these keyhole swipes, but I love them. And that's almost a garden swipe. That's from a while ago. So I'm pretty sure you've seen it, but that's worth seeing again. This is a chain pull. That was a video. That's definitely worth seeing again. <laughs> I love these. And uh, some of these I had not added. This was recent. And this was recent. Get these out of the way. And bring a stack of landscapes up. Seascapes. What have you. Try Try and get some more stuff out of the way. So, ha! Ah, I got a pile of those right here. This was a, a redo. That's not going to work. This was maybe from last month, but uh, these rocks are gorgeous. I'm not sure you've seen that or not. This may be from a video that you saw last month also. I'm taking too long with this. I have, there we go. I am hoping that you can see these. I really, really am. This is similar to something else I did, but it's still beautiful. I'm happy with that. And I'm really hoping that you can see most of this. I'm just not fast today. And I probably have a cord in my way. That's Tide Poodle Pools. Tide Poodles? <laughs> I don't think so. This, uh, this proved to me that I can't make my paint as thick as I want to, but it's still a funky planet. So I'm not unhappy with that. 
most of these prove to me that I can't, I shouldn't be painting outdoors because there's extra texture when they mow the lawns. So here's last month's flowers added to a green pour that was chain pulled. I should be tipping all these. I'm sure. I'm sorry if I'm not. I'm not sure if you've seen all these or not, but I've made enough of them so that they're worth seeing again. If you haven't seen them, you get to see them now. Make sure you make a note of the time if you have an interest in making a purchase. I think if you haven't seen my books, because I can is the first volume, and Unlimited Possibilities is the second volume. Let me use this moment to get some more stuff out of the way. I've been playing with some larger artworks. I think that's a 20 by 24, or no, that might be an 18 by 24. And then I did a 20 by 24 that I absolutely love. And I really hope that you can see the, the wonderful shimmering iridescence and uh, color shifts. I've got a stack of other stuff. This was super fast at the beginning of a two-part video, but I couldn't help myself. I had to keep it. It was just too neat. I love the cells. I love the abstractness. I think I may have showed this to you guys before. I love, love, love this. This is, let me find a way. <laughs> let me get my books out of there. This has that purple flash from Folk Art, that color shift that turns blue, electric blue. I love it. This I showed you last month. This is still cool. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm not sure if I showed this to you or not, but it's got wonderful color shifts. I know I haven't showed that to you, it's recent. I'm gonna painting myself into a corner pretty quick here. This I did yesterday. This is acetate that was used as edge catchers cut up and added to wet paint surface. And there is a video, it's coming up. This was skins added to a gold wet paint surface. And then I made the mistake of putting freezer paper down, which pulled a bunch of the gold up, but made a great texture that I actually, I actually like. It's got lots and lots and lots of texture. And I did fingerprints. This is, um, the more I see this, the more I like it. But it left me dubious at first. It seemed to be something I wasn't sure about. This I thought was awesome when I did it wet and um, I'm, I'm getting to love it again now. It took me a couple days. This is just wild. This has fabulous color shifts and it just it feels like cartoons to me and I don't watch cartoons but so I don't know why that's a good thing but it is what it is and I like it. It has friends too. This is a dustpan pour I did recently. Hopefully you can see most of that. This may be from last month. This is the second part of a two-part video where the first video was, um, it was beautiful when it was wet and it dried really flat looking. This is a typical tilt. It may have been an inversion pour, I'm not sure. This had a Rain-X finish and it has some dark areas, but I still love the lightness of the, the brightness of the colors. And, and it works. It still works. It's still nice. This is a chain pull. That I absolutely love the colors of. This is, I call these sweeps when they go from one corner to the other. This was for the Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group's uh, Rainbow Challenge. And it looked completely different and I added chain to it and the colors muted and I just, I'm totally in love. Totally infatuated. I think I call this Space Rodeo, and this is fantastic. Um, I don't know who's going to agree with me, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, look at the big caterpillar. <laughs> anyway, so here's some geometrics. That was a, that was a two-parter. I don't think you've seen that video yet, but you may have. This was a very recent video, and we'll call that uh, city, city from Above. And this was a keyhole swipe that I didn't like enough not to mess with. And I'm really, really happy that I messed with it because I love it now. Here's another keyhole swipe that I just did yesterday. That's absolutely gorgeous. 
Some people see synchronized swimmers in a pool. I'm not sure. Some other people see race cars. Uh, you can see whatever you want. I just, I just think that's, that's cool. Actually, Christmas crackers, the things you pull the, with the toy inside at Christmas, that would be cool. So I call this DNA, <laughs> alien DNA, but uh, that was from yesterday also. And this is, this is a new scape. I get dry paint everywhere, I told you. And I have a dragon I'm ready to put wings on. And then I have another dragon that I'm probably going to refine. Did I start with that? I'm not sure. Here's my first dragon. And here comes some more stuff. I'm not sure the size of these. I think that's a 9 by 11. No, it's it's a 9 by 12. I don't know where I got that. I love it by 14. So 9 by 12. Gorgeous. That was like today's video or last night's video. This, These two go together. So this was the original. And this is the one that I poured it off. And then I have... Hopefully you can see those color shifts. I really want you to see those color shifts. Because that makes it. This is a geometric. Obviously we have somebody at our front door. And those color shifts. The purple flash is amazing. And the blue is beautiful too. I think I called this one um, Streamers in the Wind. Similar. I love this. I never get tired of doing these. They're fabulous every time. Well, not every time. There are a few. If you've been watching Phoenix Rising, Priscilla Batsell art, you know there was one, one time where things went completely sideways and off kilter. So I believe these might be the, yes, the 11 by 14s. That reminds me of an abalone shell. I love this Keith Hall swipe. That's a double process. I fixed the original. It was okay, but it wasn't great, and now it's great. I love that. I'm actually thinking I might get through these this time. That would be really cool. Um, it's it's a, um, a skewer painting, which I absolutely adore. Lots of color shifts, just totally, totally compelling to me. This was on a day when I did two swipes that were red. This was the first one, and I had to uh, sort of roll with the punches on this one because it was acting kind of weird. And this one was the improved second part with more colors. And my, uh, my neon from Folk Art, my neon purple, turned out really well in there. This reminds me of the inside of an abalone shell too, or a mussel shell. It's got lots of stuff going on. I wasn't sure I, was, I liked it at first. I put a few stars in there after the video was over. This is a perfect example of why I'm in love with that purple flash from Folk Art, that color shift. Because the blue is amazing. That might be from last month and I'm not remembering. I've got a few other things kicking around here. This was from a three-part video. I'm not sure which way they are best up. Those are 8 by 10s And I don't know. <laughs> I lost my place. So here's a 16-inch round from last month. And then here's the other one. And I'm going to be taking a chance that I didn't show you these. Oh, but if I did, forgive me. Wow. You know what? I've got other paintings. So I'm going to save those 10 by 10s and bring the 10 by 20s up here if I can. Without my pen under them, please. Okay, I gotta get a couple things out of here. Make myself some room. This was today's video. This is obviously a very plain geometric that I like a lot. This is a ghost swipe or a partial. Kind of looks like something organic to me, but a lot of them do. This was really nice, full of color shifts. This is just gorgeous. And that's a companion piece, similar time zone. Just wonderful. This was for beginners. This was just shovels of color, just dumped down. This was done with, probably with a skewer, 
but it, maybe a comb too. Ha! Huh! I, you know what? They all blend together for me a little bit. But I could watch the video. This I know was done with a uh, a hair pick. Look at those color shifts. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty. And so was this. How much time do I have left? I have no time left. I didn't set my timer. Wow. I have no idea how if I have time left or not. So, this is Priscilla Baxell in Spring Hill, Florida, an expressionist art studio gallery in the backyard saying, I have no idea if I have any time left or not. But that's not going to keep me from going out with a flourish. Here are my 10 by 10s. Let's just give it a shot and hope the camera has automatic focus. I think I showed you these already. I know I did. Okay, well, it's been that kind of day. Obviously, I will be making more videos <laughs> to rectify my situation. And I'm going to see if you're still here. And I'm just going to say, I love you. There's 87,000 of you. Yes. And uh, PayPal and Patreon are the way to contribute to keep me uh, making videos. And if you do contribute, you are included automatically in the monthly contest. Excuse me, not a contest, strictly a drawing. And these are the these are the artworks again that are up for grabs for next month's June 21st. Whoever wins the drawing, probably at midnight that night. Chances are, sometimes it's to be announced. If I don't make the, if I don't make enough money to do shipping, then that's the way that goes. So. If you kept a note of the time and you had an interest in purchasing a painting, then you know exactly what to send me for information regarding that on an email. Emails are below the link tree. The link tree holds uh, my website, my Amazon site, my Facebook groups, pixels.com, Fine Art America, and, uh, and all kinds of other stuff. I love you guys. I will see you anon. Thank you for all the contributions that have kept me painting this long. I'm, uh, not myself today, but uh, I'll be back <laughs> soon enough. I love you guys. I said that. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.